Here we are going to do an example using the CAPM model to find the required return on an investment. Uh, different textbooks have lots of different notation for these things, so I wanted to write out the formula without any notation. The required return on investment is equal to the risk-free rate plus the beta of the investment multiplied by the expected market return minus the risk-free rate. We have an example here. It's probably the best way to show how this is done. Uh, find the required return on a stock with a beta of 1.7 if the expected market return is 10% and the risk-free rate is 2%. A couple things that might pop up. Um, risk-free rate, a problem will not necessarily always say risk-free rate. It may say the rate on a three-month treasury um, or it may say the rate that you can get in a risk-free investment. Uh, so look for that to find the risk-free rate. Also to clarify, expected market return means what you expect the overall stock market to return. Here that's 10%. So using our formula, it says it is equal to the risk-free rate 2 plus the beta 1.7 times, open parentheses, the expected market return 10 minus the risk-free rate 2. We're going to close parentheses. And before I hit enter here to get the answer, a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, you'll notice I used the percentages here, 2 and 10, rather than 0.02 and 0 0.10. Uh, I will do it the other way in, in a second to show that it actually doesn't matter. Um, second, if you are doing this by hand, remember the order of operations is going to require you to do the 10 minus 2 first because it's in parentheses. You'll get 8. You then need to do the multiplication, 1.7 times 8, before adding 2. Um, Excel will do it in the correct order, but if you're doing it by hand, please remember that. We'll hit enter. It gives us 15.6% as the required return on this stock. So we must require this stock to earn 15.6% in order to justify the risk of owning it. Uh, just to show the uh, percentage form, if we do equals the risk-free rate 0.02 for 2% plus the beta 1.7 times the expected market return 0.10 for 10% minus the risk-free rate 0.02 for 2%. You'll notice that we get 0.156, which is the same answer, 15.6%. Just note one final thing. Beta is not a percentage. It's just a plain value. So no matter how you do this problem, beta will always go in as 1.7.